Hey everyone, what's up? It's Michiri, of course, and today I'm showing you guys how to install the Pixelmon mod for Minecraft version 1.3.2 and above. That means it will work for future versions to come. Uh, you can leave a comment of a mod that you would like me to show you guys how to install, so feel free to do that. Uh, we're going to go and get started. Uh, what you're going to need to do is you need to open up the one link in the description. Uh, it will be taken here to the Pixelmon forum. Uh, what you're going to do here is you're going to scroll down and find the download here section right here. Click the spoiler. And right here you'll see a little download Pixelmon 1.6.2 here. Uh, it doesn't matter what version it says, just go and click that link. And now here on this link, we're just going to scroll down until we find the little download section, which is right here. So first we need to download the Pixelmon version, whichever it is, right here. Click the AdFly link. And wait five seconds, because of course it's AdFly. And just go ahead and skip the ad, skip ad. And now I'm going to download the file. Uh, make sure you save them to your desktop. Uh, mine save automatically to my downloads folder, so I would recommend saving them to your desktop though. Go and close this Pixelmod link, and what you're going to need to do now is you're going to need to open up the Minecraft Forge link right here, so go and click this. And then right here we will see Build Artifacts, make sure you download the Minecraft Forge-Universal, so go and click that link. And now you'll be redirected to another AdFly link again, and wait another 5 seconds. So now we just go and skip the ad again, skip ad, and it'll start downloading. And now we can go and close both these links. We don't need anything now. So down here in the in the bottom left, I'm going to go to my downloads folder from computer because that's where mine gets saved to. So make sure you have your downloads saved to your desktop. It's just easy. Um, there you go. And what we need to do now is we need to go down here in the bottom left and type in percent app that's a percent and click enter. Now in here you'll see a, a file called .minecraft. Open that up. And inside here there'll be a folder called bin. Open that. And inside here you'll see a minecraft.jar or minecraft executable jar file. Uh, right click that and open with WinRAR. Now the first thing you have to do in here is of course you always have to delete the meta and so go and delete that, click yes. And now what we need to do is we need to open up Minecraft Forge off of our desktop. So open that up. And we're just going to simply right click and select all and drag everything from Minecraft Forge into our Minecraft.jar. Simple as that, click OK. And now go and click uh, close the Minecraft Forge and close Minecraft.jar. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to .minecraft and we're just going to open up the Pixelmon uh, download off of our desktop wherever you have it saved at. And then here you'll see uh, two folders. You got mods and then you got the Pixelmon link and then you got database. Uh, what you need to do here is you're just going to drag both of them into your uh, mine, or .minecraft. So just highlight both of them and drag and drop them. And there you go. That's basically all you have to do. So we're going to close it. We're going to launch Minecraft and show you guys that's working as usual. Um, it's pretty important that you have the uh, norm, the Forge uh, version it says, or you'll get stuck on the Mojang screen. So make sure you have the correct one, and not the latest stable build. You have to have the build that matches it. So it's as simple as that. And there we go. So there we go. Uh, now we're going to go on and create a new world, just so you guys it's working. Uh, create new world, and create new world. So yeah, make sure you get the... Um, correct version with it because I actually had to redo my entire install video because when I came to it um, I had a different Forge version that it recommended and it didn't work so I went back and got the version that is compatible with this mod so make sure you guys do that. Um, as you can see uh, I got Charmander here on, the bottom, on my top left of my screen which is kinda cool. I don't know how this mod works but I'm just here to show you guys how, it, how to install it and uh, nothing more than that. Um, but obviously it's working. You can break and place blocks and everything's working fine. I didn't crash or anything. My sound's just off because I just recently installed a, a new dot .minecraft and a um, new mod. So the sound will come back. Uh, oh, there it is. <laughs> it's back. All right. Um, yeah, so everything's working uh, as usual. Thank you guys for watching. Please rate and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. See you around.